Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It is summer of 2024 and it has just been absolutely a crazy year for me. Back to the gun part of it though, I've been through more guns than are represented on this table right now. And that's kind of pathetic because I can't make up my mind, or at least I could not until now. Two things are missing. I am missing a Glock 19 and I am missing a PSA Dagger Micro. Represented here is what I'm left with right now and I'm actually still gonna get rid of some of these. I had the Glock 19, it, it's a good gun. It, it was great and it met my three core tenets of you know pistol qualifications and that is concealability, reliability, and shootability. Can I conceal this gun? Is it reliable and can I shoot this gun? Um, I could conceal the Glock 19. It is extremely reliable and I could mostly shoot it. I just didn't like the way it felt. The PSA Dagger Micro concealed very well. Wasn't that reliable, meaning I didn't have long-term testing with it. I had a few months with it, but did have some feeding issues, things like that, but I didn't know how it was gonna do in the long run, and I had read many instances of issues with reliability from other people. Shootability was kind of poor on that one. It was just like a Glock, and I don't like Glock. So I was hoping it was just enough to not be a Glock, not like a Glock, but it was too much like a glove. So then I moved to this baby right here. This is a Lone Wolf brand, Timberwolf model. Um, it's a G45 size, so it's Glock 17 here, Glock 19 this way. And I had this Palmetto State Armory um, slide on it. It's okay. You know, it kinda did what I wanted it to do. I had some issues. I got it down to almost no issues. Um, still not, like, not Glock enough for me. It took Glock mags, which is awesome, because they're cheap and they're plentiful, so that was great, but still had issues. Grit Grips, this guy, supposedly, and don't quote me on this, the guy that came out with this, used to work on the Dagger program at Palmetto State. And so he came out with the Grit Grips frame. This is actually a super nice frame. The texture on this is amazing. It feels smooth, but as soon as you grab that sucker, boy, it really digs into the hand. Standard Glock internals, you know, nothing to write home about. Slightly more forward grip angle, but not much. But it still had the hump here. I actually shoot this one extremely well. So concealability is perfect for this one, just like the 19. Reliability, I'm gonna have to say it's just fine because it's built like, shoots like, takes parts of a Glock. Um, and shootability was high, pretty high on, on this. It's it's fine. Still not quite not Glock enough. And I skipped over. Concealability was meh on this one. Um, it's too big as a 17, although I could car carry it in my 945 Industries chest pouch. Reliability was low, and shootability was high. I'm extremely accurate with this one. So I'm still not meeting the three tenets that I'm trying to accomplish here. I'm gonna remove these because they're out of the picture. And you'll notice two out of three here are kind of the same. This handgun started its life as a 365 XL, you know, with the short grip and all that good stuff. This is my son's pistol. I shot it pretty well. Um, if I had to apply the three tenants to this one, it would be concealability was really, really high, reliability very high, and shootability was medium because the frame was too small. And then he went and bought this Wilson Combat Lower. And so the fit on this sucker is really nice. Really nice. So that took shootability to the next level. I did not own this one at the time. Um, when he did this, I still had my Glock and I still had my Palmetto State Arms uh, Armory uh, Dagger Micro. As soon as I shot this with this frame module, I put those up for sale and they were gone within a day. Then I went out, and I'm gonna remove this from the scenario now because it's not my gun. And then I went out, and I bought this gun. But before we get to that, this is my new big gun. It's Kenick TP9 SFX. Concealability is a zero. It is a big, stinking gun. So, for reference, this is the size of a Glock 19. Like, that's a big gun, so. Concealability, super, super low. Reliability, from what I've read online, great. I've only got about 500 rounds through it, and this thing's awesome. 
shootability, but dang near perfect. I love this gun. So this one, I'm just gonna put up here out of the way. This is the SIG P365X Macro Tac Ops. Come on, SIG, just give it a simple name. It's not that serious. Nothing to write home about. It's a 365X Macro. It is not ported. I did not want to spend the extra money on the porting. I didn't think that was necessary. One thing about this frame that the Wilson Combat does not have, um, I've got slots in the front. This does not. For me, that was good because then I can throw a stream light or something on there. I topped it off with the EPS carry from Holosun. I freaking love this in green. Six MOA dot, and I absolutely love that. Weapon is clear. Just like a standard 365, the fire control unit is removable. Um, comes with 17 round magazines. Comes with this magwell. Man, I didn't have to do anything to this. This has been the most accurate pistol that I have ever owned. So, three tenants, concealability. I would give this, I didn't number the rest of them, but if everything was out of a 10, this is about an eight. It's a little big, but it's not bad, because it is Glock 19 size, so it is concealable. On reliability, I've got about a thousand rounds in this bad boy already, zero malfunctions with even when I realized I had undercharged, so put too little powder in some uh, rounds that I reloaded. Um, it was not recycling any other gun to include that one, but it cycled this one just fine. And then I loaded to regular and plus P standards, still shoot, sh still shot awesome. And then shootability, like I said, the most accurate gun I've ever used. Part of it is because I'm getting used to that dot sight and the green really jives with my eyes. But this has been an amazing gun to shoot. Complaints? The only complaint that I have about this gun is this. So you hit a wall, that's great, and it's just kind of dead. It does give a little bit here. That creep and it just kind of thunk. There's no crisp, there's no, nothing crisp about that trigger. Whereas, clear, hit that wall, boom. Honestly, that is the only complaint I have for it. The, the mag release here on the side is just the right size. I like that it's smooth right around here for my middle finger. I think it's really well thought out there. It fits my hand wonderfully. There's nothing else that I would want out of a pistol that this doesn't provide. I've made shots out to 80 yards with this, standing, not on a bench, anything like that. So again, concealability, reliability, and shootability. This has won me over. I have never picked up a handgun and been so ready to fire accurately, and I know it's gonna be reliable, and I know I can conceal it better than this gun right here. I'm not here to tell you that these, here it's right here. I'm not here to tell you that these should be your, your core tenants of, of shooting, but you should figure out what are you looking for in a handgun, because I did not define what I was looking for and for about two, three years, I was just bouncing back and forth between pistols, and that just got too expensive. And I landed on something that was just awesome, and I'm glad I found it. So figure out what you want in a gun, look for that thing, don't compromise, and you'll find what you want, and it'll be you know, perfect for you. There's really nothing else to say. Stay tactical.